So just to, to remind our viewers, this is going to authorize $1,000 payment to all new parents in the city. Uh, according to the Baltimore Baby bonus social media account, take a look at this. We've got it up on our smart board here on X. They are saying it will be heard by the Supreme Court in two weeks now to determine whether this appears on the ballot. Pastor Smith, what are your thoughts on this? I'm not an expert. I'm not a political commentator. I'm a grown up with common sense. Child poverty is best addressed by an intact family, not a thousand dollars one time gift. Inflation will impact that thousand dollars. That little four ounce Gerber bot, uh, can of a uh, uh, bottle of food is now 159. 32 pack of baby uh, Pampers is $16. Similac is $6 for a 13 ounce can. How far is that thousand dollars going? The remedy is not income, it's an intact family. It's interesting when you talk about the, the money for families because that second amendment would have cut Baltimore's property tax uh, rate nearly in half. It was also rejected in court too, saying that it violated state law. We're now getting word from Renew Baltimore that they are filing an appeal with the Supreme Court of Maryland to reverse that decision. A lot of folks saying that this could really help Baltimore residents, Baltimore business. What are your thoughts? Absolutely, they filed it yesterday. Renewed Baltimore is acting on behalf of property owners in Baltimore City. The argument from Judge Handy, Althea M. Handy was that this would undermine the Baltimore City Council's ability to set the rate. Renew Baltimore is not talking about setting the rate, they're capping the rate. Montgomery County caps the rate. PG County caps the rate. Anne Arundel County caps the rate. And Baltimore City taxpayers pay twice as much in property tax as any other county in the state of Maryland. It needs to be capped. We're going to see the Supreme Court now make their decision on these. How important do you think it is that, that Maryland voters get a say? They're going to decide whether both of those amendments are on the ballot. Should voters get a chance to make their voice heard? Absolutely. I'm a taxpayer. They jack my property taxes up from uh, $1,200 to $2,700. And that's because right. if you make an improvement, you have to get a permit. When you get a permit, they jack you up. We're in trouble. And plus, you're talking about vacant homes. Who wants to come when the taxes are jacked up? And again, Baltimore City taxpayers, property taxpayers, pay twice as much as Baltimore County or uh, Anne Arundel County. Let's cap it, not set it, but cap it and give us a break. All right, Pastor Smith, thanks for weighing in, and we'll keep you guys posted on what the Supreme Court decides.